All right, guys, so I'm just going to give out a testimony, okay? My own personal testimony. Like, you know, I kind of do that almost every video, guys. But I want to I wanna show you why I think God is so awesome, okay? And why I believe that we are all gods and goddesses, okay? Created in his image or whatever, his, her, genderless image, okay? You know, you might think this is all coincidence and synchronicities, but I don't. Okay, guys? I have given up on coincidences a long time ago, guys. And by just going with the flow, I've seen too much in the last few months. Okay? I've gone through my own tribulations in the last two years, guys. Okay? Of being, you know, like, distanced from the ones that, you know, the ones I love. The family I helped create and everything. Whether I created them or not, doesn't matter, guys. Like, wow, guys, okay? Now, I just find this to be quite... Like, God's pretty funny, okay? The infinite creator is pretty jovial, I'd say. He likes to make... make his slash her point in pretty humorous ways, I find, okay? Now, again, I'm born on May 10th, okay? In my depiction, I'm leaving Capricorn into Sagittarius, okay? So I'm, like, here. Okay, this is, like, me. This is, like, my time, you know? Now, I find it quite synchronistic that I had a girlfriend upon exiting high school and all through university, I believe for six years, okay? It was at its ups and downs, guys, you know? I've made more than a few mistakes in my life, okay? And I'm... Sorry for every mistake and all the pain I've ever caused anyone in my universe. Plain and simple, guys. Being truthful here, guys, okay? You know, I am constantly living my own revelation. Now, I had a girlfriend, and she was born... Where was she born? On December 31st, okay? That's the last day of Orion, okay? That's the 27th day of Orion, Okay? Now, that's pretty, you know, whatever, guys. That's that's interesting, right? After that ended, I had a girlfriend later on, once university was over, which I think we dated for about four years. And her birthday was across the Zodiac, okay, plus seven. Her, her birthday was on November 16th. So 9 plus 7 is 16, okay? You know? Right here, let's say. Okay? And we dated for four years, and that ended horribly. <laughs> or that, it just ended, okay, guys? And then later on in life, I met another girl. You know? I didn't want to go to the bar that day, but I met this other girl. Her birthday was also on November 16th, with a nine-year difference. You know? 1 to 7, 13 of 110, where 110 is equal to 9. You know, I've shown the depiction before, guys. So, I wouldn't have ever created this little black book or these multiple black books, okay, about scribble jargon if what transpired two years ago never transpired. No way. No way possible. That I would have done this. No way possible I would have connected so many dots and lines. No way possible I would have looked into the numbers. No way possible I would have looked into Fibonacci. No way possible I would have done any of this. No way possible I would be where I am today in life. Just no way possible. Okay? And, you know, upon going through all this pain and stuff, okay, you know, like, I called out, you know, basically asking for all the answers and asking God for help and stuff. And then I read Genesis 1, guys. And then my world changed forever. Because I was able to code Genesis 1, okay? Now, Genesis 1, again, the Taurus, female energy, magnetism, the central singularity of heaven. You got your Pluto, which is your solids. You got your Neptune, which is your liquids. You got your Uranus, which is your air, okay, your gases. Not all the gases, guys, but some of the gases. The gases that we know and love and have today in our lives. And that created plants, okay? Then the, the, the other 
universes or lights in the sky were created and then king of the planets Jupiter was created and then Saturn you know look where Saturn is in, in relation to everything the cube of Saturn is right here it's not part of man or earth but it's like the closest thing and then the stars where your soul originates from which is why I understand being at one with self being at one with the soul and one with the flesh okay and these right here are just copies of solids, liquids, and gases, okay? And then what we have here, guys, you know? Uh, la 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 la. Uh, Mars, Sun, Mercury, Venus. Oh, sorry, Venus. Ah, it's Mercury, Venus, and then the Moon. Mm, or Venus, Mercury, Moon. Ah, whatever it is. Okay, guys? And now, look at our zodiac, okay? They, they, they come out and say that we have 13 zodiac signs. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Because we can't forget the Taurus, guys. We can't forget where everything comes from. And there was light. Created heaven and the earth. Created heaven and the earth. Heaven and everything. All the solids, liquids, and gases. Okay? The power of three, six, and nine. Okay? There's no way possible that I would be making these revelations. No way. If I didn't go through what I've gone through. And I'm thankful for all the pain. And I'm thankful for everything that I have gone through. To understand Fibonacci. To understand the truth in our astrology. To understand the truth with how everything's coded, okay, up from your movies, your music, from your, you know, your flags now, I guess, um, space, you know, the final frontier, guys, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting there every day, but I just wanted to give, you know, my testimony, guys, that, uh, that I'm thankful, I'm thankful for my woes. Without my woes, I wouldn't have found God in the way that I have, okay? And I wouldn't have learned to go through the gates of ascension and to follow the teachings of the Son of God and divine law, okay? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have understood all this stuff, okay? Zero percent chance of me doing that, guys. You know? It's just... I'm thankful. I'm thankful for everything I have been through in my life, okay? Now, again, it's just, you know, guys, well, the Force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. Okay? You know, I try to be positive with everything that life throws at me, guys. I try to live in the now, you know? You know, I'm thankful for for wanting to pick the scab, guys. I'm thankful for I'm thankful for my journey. Okay, forever thankful. Okay, now you know I've had my revelation. Okay, I think that's important. Okay, you know the Earth, the false prophet, the beast, and the dragon. You know. I'm thankful for everything that I've gone through. I wouldn't have wished it any other way. I really wouldn't have, guys. Okay? It's been a learning process for Kevin. You know? Every day, when I go to bed and I wake up, I see the world a little differently. I like to... I like to... I like to share these things with people because... You know... Where I see my 9-11s, you know, guys, I like to, I like, I like doing what I do, okay? I like going to work, I like my job, okay? I like helping people, I like thinking differently, okay? I like looking at words, okay? I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. So... I know that I'm not a peach to deal with, probably, most of the time, guys, you know? I'm probably the, one of the biggest assholes on the internet. But, you know, 
Again, I'm searching for God. Okay. If you want me to start back at Genesis 1. Okay, look into Genesis 1. I'm trying to find out who I am, guys. All about... Trying to, I'm trying to understand, okay, guys? I'm trying to help others. I know I need to slow it down. Okay, guys? Now, these aren't coincidences. I've never once believed that. Okay? I just... You know what I'm saying, guys? So... I'm meeting interesting people along my journey, guys. Okay? I am. I wouldn't have been able to meet these people without all of my woes. Okay? It's taught me to be more loving, more humble. It's definitely taught me more about the nothing and the infinite, guys. And... What else can I say, guys? Search for your own truth. You know? You must unlearn all that you have learned figuratively, you know what I mean? Look at things in a different way. I know I've been a little negative lately, you know? I'm not looking to change anyone. I'm not looking to... I'm not looking to... I don't know. Say that you're right or you're wrong, guys. I'm just saying is that we all share the same earth, guys. You know, we all inhabit the same earth. Kind of reminds me of a John F. Kennedy speech, you know. We all breathe the same air. You know, we all eat food. We're all searching for truth. We're all searching for happiness. We're all tr searching for freedom. Okay? Know your enemy. And I've been doing just that. Now, I believe anyone can change. Because I've lived it. And I have changed. Okay? Believe it or not. I am not the same person I was a day ago, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, two years ago, four years ago, ten years ago, guys. You only learn from your mistakes, you don't learn from your successes in life. Okay, guys? Life is pretty infinite. It's absolutely infinite, guys. No matter where you're from, we can all get along. Okay? So, I'll leave you with that. Cheers.